Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Hope Girls, a Dang and Rampa podcast. This is kind of a special episode. We are playing Bestie Picks Waifu for uh, the first game. And just a heads up that this will spoil the entirety of Trigger Happy Havoc. This game is based on the Seventeen Magazine YouTube game called Bestie Picks Bay. And so we're going to be counting down all of the characters in the first Danganronpa game and pick the best waifu for all of our friends here at Ultra Hope Girls Pod. I hope you enjoy. I'm Maddie. I'm Marin. And I'm Caroline. And we're the Ultra Hope Girls. One, two, three, welcome to the Danganronpa Podcast. Showtime. You're on the threshold of an amazing episode. Showtime. Let's get started with Maddie. Maddie, girl. Okay, so Maddie, go ahead and just share, like, first, who you are, like, most attracted to in the game, and then second, who you think we are going to pick for you. So, um, attraction-wise, I mean, like, my favorite character in this entire game is definitely Kyoko, and so I, um, I'm so sorry, I have to pause because I have to sneeze real quick once. <laughs> I want to keep that in. That's I really want to keep that in. <laughs> Maddie's muted um, for... so she can blow her nose. <laughs> <laughs> for all of our audience members, Caroline and I are currently covering our faces so that we do not give anything away. <laughs> I'm trying not to look at the screen because, especially Caroline, I'm sorry, I know that your eyes will give it away. <laughs> um, I'm all just right, trying to so... grin the whole time so it doesn't give anything away. Call me yeah. Celestia because I've got Queen the... Queen of Liars. The perfect <laughs> at Marin. <laughs> Yes. Um, okay, so as far as, like, <laughs> before I was interrupted by my, by my allergies, um, as far as a person I'm most attracted to, it's tough because, like, okay, for this game, my favorite character in this entire game is Kyoko. I love her so much. I would die for her. I love her. Um, as far as, like, attraction goes, though, like, I mean, uh, Byakuya is just... Mm. But there's no way I would ever be in a relationship with him. He's kind of the person who it's like, he's very attractive, but like, oh my goodness, he's so terrible. <laughs> Problematic fave. But yeah, I mean, like, as far as my favorite, like, I love Kyoko so much. Um, I actually had a prediction for myself as far as like thinking about who you guys might choose for me. And I thought you might end up choosing Chihiro for me because he is super, super smart. And so, like, I feel like I would like to be like, with someone who is smart and we can talk about like nerdy things and we can talk about like we can just geek out over stuff and like and he's also really really sweet and really sensitive and I think I could also you know have a you know that would also be a good trait in somebody for me and um so that I I, that occurred to me the other day and I was like huh like I wonder if they might pick Chihiro and it honestly seems like it could be a good fit but, um, but yeah, I really don't know. So I'll find out, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. I was trying go. not to laugh because I literally could not get over the difference between Marin being like stone faced covering her mouth. And I'm like grinning out of my mind, <laughs> covering my mouth about to burst into laughter. Anyway. I couldn't look at you. I was looking up because I was like, I'm going to laugh if I see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie can just full screen my face. <laughs> Oh, Emotionless. Yes, good. Because wow, Marin has the poker face. Thank you. All right. So Maddie, we came up with some traits for the person that we thought that you should end up with. Um, and uh they are as follows. Um, we thought that you should be with someone who would push you to express yourself. Um, someone who's not gonna sit in the background and be like, I hope she's okay. Um, but uh <laughs> yeah, someone who might like give you a little edge, a little push. Yeah. It would need to be someone who is emotionally sensitive. Um, So someone who's not going to be rude and yell at you or like say that anything is invalid because, hey, here's something fun. Emotions, they're valid. Yes. (laughs) And jumping in like someone who will be able to like understand when you are nervous about something and like sympathize with you and not think you're being anxious, but like be like, your feelings are valid, Maddie, but here's why it's okay. And I'm just going to sit here with you and ground you in this moment kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. that's really valid. <laughs> we said um, it, they would need to be someone who is physically adventurous. And we do not mean that in a sexual way. <laughs> um, but, we could, but we don't, but we could. Um, someone who is 
realistic about scenarios that are happening, someone who's grounded, um, not someone um, like... Who might feed into your, like, anxieties, you know, by bouncing off of you and being, like, anxious because you're anxious, and then be like... (laughs) The physical adventurousness thing, um, rock climbing? Yes? Yeah. Um, so then the we had two two more uh like character traits. One, um, we want them to be intelligent. Um, because I think you would be very sad if the person was adult. And um, last but not least, um they we didn't really pick based off of physical traits, but it we thought it would be best if it was a feminine male or a masculine female. So we're breaking those gender yeah. boundaries. Sound, sounds yeah. about like what we all like in our <laughs> partners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Like, that's my type. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, eliminations. Uh, Caroline, let's pop back and forth on these bad boys. All right. So, we started out with some easy eliminations. And the first person we eliminated was Junko. <laughs> <laughs> because <Valid. laughs> she is evil. Yep. Period. <laughs> Okay, um, next up, we eliminated Byakuya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, he wasn't easy elimination. I mean, he would just shut down any emotions you had. <laughs> I, could not, I could not be in a relationship with that guy. Oh my goodness, no. Mm-mm. It would be really bad. <laughs> that would be rough. <laughs> the third person we eliminated for you was Mukuro, because we just don't know enough about her she yeah. she is physically, I think, the kind of person that you'd be attracted to, mm-hmm. but we just, again, like, for the three seconds that we know her, she's lying about who she is. <laughs> and so yeah. it's like, there's no way to determine. <laughs> and you're not shallow enough just to like her based on her looks. So, yeah. All right. Uh, fourth elimination is Mondo. Um, we thought that he would be too aggressive um, mm-hmm. and not enough brain power to uh, create a lasting relationship. He literally, with um, Chihiro, murdered Chihiro because Chihiro was like, hey, can you help me? <laughs> And that, that just doesn't seem like a great start. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. The rage is not my, not my thing. It's not sexy. That would be a mess. You'd be like, please understand me. Ma- and he'd like, murder you. And he would kill you. <laughs> no. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? He's just very like macho man. And you're, that's just not something I think you would jive with. Right. All right, Maddie. RIP in peace. The fifth person we eliminated for you was Kyoko. All right, that's okay. I totally understand that. We just think, like, there wouldn't be enough for you, like, you both are kind of quiet, and I don't think that there would be enough of, like, extroverted Maddie to, like, pull what, like, Kyoko needs out of her, and I just, I don't think it would promote conversation, even though she's very smart, I think she would not communicate well with you, and you both would just kind of form, like, a shield of not communicating, and then just, like, blow up. I can see that, yeah, I can see that. Okay, our sixth person we eliminated is Taka. Um, <laughs> he he is good. I mean, that's like his whole personality, but he's so robotic and he's not expressive or really emotional in a way that would be good for a relationship. He probably wouldn't understand your emotions. He would be like, there's a right and wrong here. You mm-hmm. know, Yeah. that's it. Yeah. Um, seventh eliminated is my bae, my queen, Toko. Um, Toko is way too neurotic for you. I feel like if you two dated, it would just be like a, a like conglomerate of like Maddie being nervous about something and then Toko being like, oh my god, should I be worried about this thing? Oh my god. And just you guys anxiety. Would just like die. <laughs> I already so have bad. anxiety. I know it's like we don't need more anxiety. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Putting fire to fire. <laughs> Literally, that was what that would be. <laughs> it would be so bad. Okay. Oh. Number eight, Maddie. Um, Celestia, Hmm. she is kind of quiet too, um, but mostly it was that she's a compulsive liar, um, Mm -hmm. and I think that a lot of times you see the best in people, and she would be able to manipulate her, you, a little bit, um, you know, just having a stroke over here, it's fine. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, I think that it's, it would be concerning to set you up with someone who, her personality is manipulation. I mean, she's the ultimate gambler. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And I tend to be a little bit gullible, not gonna lie. So <laughs> that might not be a good combination. 
I think that's yeah. literally something we said to each other when eliminating Celestia. We were like, Maddie can be a little gullible. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, we were like, love yeah. her to death. Yeah. But like, you know, yeah. for sure. You're no Hifumi. No. <laughs> no <laughs> but Hifumi. Like... But like, you're, you're smart. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting into like the tougher eliminations. And so like, we were trying to pick like the top five, right? Mm-hmm. So like, this, these were the people we were like, okay, we kind of have to like, be more picky and more specific about like what you would need so we first eliminated Hifumi I mean like (laughs) if any of us ended up with Hifumi we would no longer be friends (laughs) because Maddie he is a fool he's an idiot and like and I don't think you would be able to handle that and also like he okay but the reason why he stayed this long is because we think that you got you guys would have like similar interests and like you guys are kind of nerdy and so I think you could like have things that you would both enjoy doing together but yeah just because he's kind of an idiot he's (laughs) yeah I could not handle it oh my goodness all right up next we eliminated uh Sayaka Mm -hmm. um we thought um she has a lot of fun things about her you know she's an interesting person um but she we didn't think she'd fight for the relationship. I mean, in times of conflict, she literally murders. And so, you know, I think you need someone who's going to put a little bit more like oomph and like fight for you. And like, it's just not her. She's not doing it. Yeah, I can see that. That's the tea. So now we were like, all right, this is where we, it was actually like really hard to pick the next person Mm -hmm. to go. We really had to like think about it. So we picked sixth person before your number one choice we eliminated Makoto because mm-hmm. Makoto is kind of a fool also <laughs> he he's very good and he sees the good in everybody and we thought like po- in positive ways like he would very much be like a cheerleader for you like you'd be like mm-hmm. Maddie you can do it you're great you're like yes but also he just is so gullible and you two together I mean <laughs> I don't know that just sounds like a bad idea I think <laughs> like he sorry just like go off of what you're saying he (laughs) might not challenge you um to like improve on stuff and like I don't know I think yeah I guess what Caroline said yeah he's he's a good one love him okay top five five. (laughs) yep all right um number five we've got you're gonna hate us number five is Leon (laughs) no I can see that it's all right it's all Um, good Leon, we thought that Leon would not take your emotions seriously enough. Mm-hmm. Um, he kind of goes with the flow, does whatever he wants. Um, and because of that, we thought maybe you should ha- be with someone who's a little bit more grounded. Someone who, I mean, that was one of the, the traits that we, we picked for you with someone who, who knows what they want and goes after it. And he like wants to be in a band, but it doesn't seem like he's taken any steps to do that. And yeah for that <laughs> for those reasons we eliminated you <laughs> um all right maddie your fourth one eliminated is kind of an icon that we we didn't intend to make it this far in the countdown but he did and the reason why it's hero by the way yeah uh, <laughs> why he made it this far is because he is pretty laid back and i think that he would be somebody who would listen to you and understand your emotions and like really ground you and he he's again like kind of a cheerleader he's a team player you know and he he wants to do what's best for the group and what's best for you as a couple the only thing that is just he is stupid (laughs) he is not smart and maddie you would kill him (laughs) Um, maddie would be like let's debate this and he'd be like (laughs) i can't even think of what he'd do he'd just like throw a glass ball or something (laughs) no (laughs) but he's right 100% of the time, 30% of the time. (laughs) Classic. Oh, icon. Okay, Maddie, number three. Number three um, is Hina. Hina. (laughs) So Hina. um, My girl. She is an athlete, which I think Mm -hmm. would work really well with you. Um, She does not have a lot of depth. You know, um, I think that was our biggest concern is that her goal, her one real goal is swimming and Mm -hmm. that's cool, but she, 
I don't know. It was almost like she didn't have enough depth for a lasting relationship. Like at some point it would be 30 years down the line and you'd be like, Hey, like, let's talk about your past. And she'd be like, I'm going to go swim. And you'd be like, wow, (laughs) this is repetitive. (laughs) I can see that. (laughs) We're living the same thing every day. (laughs) That's so funny. Um, All right. So I guess I'll just say who the number one person is. So the drum roll. (laughs) Top two are Chihiro and Sakura. All right, which is a iconic. My prediction top made it into two. the top two. Chihiro. True, That's true, true. Correct. Okay, Should ready. Drum okay. roll. <laughs> Three, okay. two, fun. Sakura. Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I love Sakura. This was probably the hardest debate we had with like <laughs> picking because we were like, there are things that Ch- Chihiro really brings that Sakura wouldn't, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Why we decided against Chihiro was. I think that he is very, like, anxious, and Mm -hmm. I think that it wouldn't be as much of a mess as Toko, but I think that that could lead to, like, some weird emotional, like, not being able to communicate things, you know? You, Marion, you want to talk about Sakura and the date we picked for Sakura and Maddie. I love her. Wait, no, I'm so flattered, actually. I love Sakura. Yay, I'm so (laughs) so glad. (laughs) Okay, so Sakura, um, my notes here for Sakura, I have, wow, queen, suicide for Maddie, grounded, (laughs) athlete, and on the rise. So she, Sakura is an icon. She is so grounded. She will keep you firmly rooted anytime you have a problem. And she is not only grounded, um, but she also understands emotion and knows how to express it and expresses it in a debatably healthy way i mean lol yeah for. but um <laughs> yeah she like she loves some of the things that you love like being an athlete and she has goals and protein drinks she- yes <laughs> protein <laughs> but yeah so that is why we picked her oh i and love that ironically enough it's funny that you mentioned rock climbing earlier because our date for the two of you would be to go rock climbing out in nature. Yes! To the top and have a picnic together. That is so cute. I love that so much. That's so cute. All right. I love that. Also, can I, I just say, I love it. I love soccer. I love that. Oh my gosh, Sakura would be like the best rock climbing buddy. Um, I have, so for rock climbing, I my preferred um, method of rock climbing is bouldering, which is like the the lower walls with the mats underneath you so you don't need ropes you don't need a harness you, j- you can just fall um because I'm low-key a little bit scared of heights actually but um and when I do top rope which is the one where you're going up really really high you got the harness on you got someone belaying for you at the other end I have like serious trust issues so like I can only let someone belay for me if I know that they are like a professional or like I really really trust them and like Sakura I would totally trust her oh my goodness like that is great (laughs) why can't we just pull Sakura out of fictional world and bring her to you (laughs) I'm currently crying (laughs) rip in peace so we're, we're gonna take a quick break but we'll be right back with bestie picks waifu All right, Caroline. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's get started. Maddie, you want to take the lead well, on this well, one? Well, I have to tell you who I think you picked for me. Yes. Oh, yes. Prediction. Okay. Well, who you, you like, like and who you predict. Who I like, let me tell you guys. <laughs> Celestia can get it. I love her. She is just so, like, mysterious. And I love, oh, my God. She's so beautiful. And I just want her to love me. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. Um, I think you guys picked, okay, I, I don't know. I, I didn't think a lot about it, so I don't have, like, a super in-depth answer, but I think you could have actually picked Hina only because I tend to go on negative thought trains about, like, who, like, what I'm doing, like, with my career, and, like, I, I get very down on myself very easily when actually I am very, like, I am talented. Like, I need to trust myself and trust, like, that, and I think that somebody, like, Hina would do that for me and I also think she wouldn't be super offended because I am a flirt (laughs) and I don't think she would be super offended if I was like flirting with other people because she would always know that we are like 
for you know what I mean? yeah that's all all right cool. i will remove my stone mask now okay. oh, no. <laughs> all right or er, maddie why don't you take the lead? yes all right so as far as um as far as traits go um, we thought that an important trait that you'd want in somebody would be that they are somebody who can really, like, just be themselves. Like, they're someone who's authentic and genuine. Um, we thought that um, somebody who can communicate effectively, who, like, values communication and that kind of thing would be extremely important because we know that you are really good at communicating and you'd want that in your partner as well. Um, so someone who is good at communication, that's a strength for them, or it can become a strength for them, like someone who is willing to like learn how to communicate. We also know that we you would want somebody who like appreciates the arts, appreciates and supports your interests and would like go see you in plays and musicals, would like read your your writing and just be really like supportive of you and like would, you know, encourage you to, you know, continue to cultivate those passions. So this one is is kind of a given. Um we ruled out Mukuro as well because we just don't know enough about her. So all right, up next, we rolled out Hifumi. Um, reason God. being, because no. <laughs> because that Just would because literally no. never happen. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. We also ruled out Junko for you because, I mean, like, obviously there's the thing yeah. about being evil. But even just, even then, it's, um, even then we think that she maybe, as the ultimate fashionista, could be a little fake, possibly, or a little bit not super authentic. Which is actually the same reason why we eliminated number four, which is Sayaka, um, because okay. she is also very fake. I she, was so nervous when you guys were like, someone who appreciates the arts. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Also, no. like, I have a new prediction, and I'm very afraid. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> of who it might be, because I specifically do not like the person I'm thinking you might pick for me. But that's all. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Am I next? I yeah. think you are. Okay, we ruled out um, Toko because um, we think, we know you love her. Well, we know you a lot. Toko. <laughs> I am Toko. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. We were like, we know you like her a lot, but you're also a lot like her. And there was one thing that you mentioned once. I think you said something along the lines of like, oh, Toko is like the worst version of me, like me at my worst self. And we were like, huh. She probably wouldn't want to date someone who she thinks is the worst version of herself. Because, I mean, Toko is really anxious. She's self-deprecating. Um, and it just we just don't think it would be a good dynamic. That would be bad. So the next person we eliminated was Mondo. Um, just because he is completely not your type. I mean, not at all. the most masculine man to exist in this game. And for that reason, we said no. Yeah. And so um, next up, one of the people we eliminated was Hero. Um, we know that you might have like some similar interests, but um, we don't think that he is. Um, <laughs> it's kind of mean to say, but he's not super intelligent and no. he's not super thoughtful or deep. And we don't think that he could give you or depth deep. He has no want. depth. That probably <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> oh, poor Hero. Okay. Um, up next, we eliminated Byakuya. Um, we... I'm surprised he made it so far. Yeah, well, like, I think Maddie and I have different orders. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. Word, though. I think, and that's something that, like, I could see, like, you know what I mean? But I don't think it would actually work. We said that you could handle him, um, but that shouldn't be the goal of a relationship. Like, oh. it would literally be, like, him saying something, or you saying something, and he would be like, shut up. And you would be like, don't talk to me like that. And he'd be like, you're so <laughs> dumb. And it would just be aggressively angry, and no one would be having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> you are confident and, like, outspoken enough to hold your own against him. But, yeah, it, we just don't think you it would be, like, enjoyable for either party. You know, it's... There's a fine line between witty banter and just like verbal abuse. So, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yay. Um, so, the next person we eliminated, um, or one of the next, was Leon. Um, we think that, you know, because he can be a little hot headed, he might not be like the best person for you. You might want someone who maybe is a little more sensitive or a little more like, um, has a little more control over themselves. Um, we also thought that, you know, he has like, 
dreams and he has like he wants to be a musician he has like those dreams but he doesn't really have the grit or the drive to work for them and we think that that might be something that would frustrate you yeah all right up next (laughs) we've got taka um for very similar reasons to maddie because taka has poor conflict resolution i mean i guess he and mondo became bestest buddies at the end (laughs) but um he's very black and white thinking and I think a lot of times you consider the gray and I don't think you would be able or I don't think you'd want to um, be in a in a relationship with someone who wouldn't think outside of their values yeah yeah you know what I just realized that Monokuma's face is black and white Mm. yeah that's true there's no gray. gray his name actually fun fact Monokuma means monochromatic bear so black and white bear, <laughs> basically. Well, creative name. Creative <laughs> of Danganronpa. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, wow. all right, Maddie, you're up. So the next person we eliminated, I'm sorry, I know this is going to break your heart, but we eliminated Celeste. I mean, I- she's lies <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i mean queen of liars like she's great we love her but we do think that um you would want someone authentic and genuine and someone you um someone you know you could really really trust and so we don't think that the trust would be there with celeste yeah okay yeah. hey, we're at our top five now top five. oh my Woo-hoo. god i oh okay i'm really curious can you give us um who you think it's going to be because you you seem to have come up with a new um uh person and i, I want to know i'm a little, on my a little worried that it's gonna be makoto because he would be so communicative and so bland but he is what you know what I mean I I don't want him though but that's I could see that also being pitched but also I trust you guys to to know that he lacks depth and he is so boring that's all (laughs) (laughs) okay number five (laughs) um number five is Kyoko um, okay. Oh wow, she made it! Wow, Kyoko. She made it this far. Girl, she made it a long, long woman. way. We thought there would be a communication mismatch. Um, yeah. She, I don't think, would communicate enough, and I think you'd be constantly trying to pull things out of her, and that that would be frustrating. Yep. Number four is Sakura. So okay, we yeah. <laughs> um, we had her as number four. We thought that it could be like a really cool dynamic. Like we thought that you might really like each other. Um, but Sakura can be a little bit more reserved, and um, and we thought you might want someone who kind of brings more energy. Um, and so oh, number God. three, <laughs> number three is Hina. Damn it! No, <laughs> Hina, my woman. <laughs> So Hina was interesting um, because Hina reminds me of one of my friends who you know. Yes. Um, and that made it a little bit tough because you're friends with the friend that I know. And we were like, this works. But we think that Hina is a little too optimistic for you. Um, I think that when you were having a problem, um, she would just be like, well, everything's going to be fine. Like, it's all going to be fine. And you would get frustrated that she wouldn't be taking it seriously. Okay. She's, she's naive, cute, but naive. And I think that would really hurt you in the end. Okay. Yep. And I, I echoing those thoughts. Yeah. I think a little bit naive and also a little, just a little bit immature too. Um, Hina, I love Hina. She's so sweet, but yeah, like a little bit, just a little immature. Like she can be, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, Right. Anyway, so now we're oh in God. the top two. <laughs> You're top two be right so now. So mad, you guys. Our Makoto and Chihiro. Oh, um, please. drum roll, please. I'm about to announce your match. <laughs> Three, two, one. Makoto. <laughs> so much. I hate you. I hate you. I would okay. hate being in a relationship with him because he's so boring. <laughs> okay, but hear me out. Okay, we we gotta explain why. Let's go with Chihiro first. Yeah. Um, we thought, okay, so Chihiro is a bit shy. We did mention before, we thought you might, you are kind of more of an introvert and you might benefit from having someone who is a little bit more extroverted and is kind of the yang to your yin, if I do say so myself. (laughs) And Chihiro might not be, um, as, um, you know, he, he might not be able to like stand up for you or really like assert himself at times when you might need that. And so, you know, if you're struggling with something, he might just really not know how to help. And he might just kind of be in the background like, oh, no, like, I'm so sorry. 
god that was really accurate wow. and, <laughs> and he's such a sweetheart and he would be so supportive but we think that you might need someone with a little bit more like who can be a little more out there and then out for there, makoto so. i know you're not thrilled but i want you to really think about this okay Makoto, you said yourself would be phenomenal at communication. You would never doubt that Makoto is telling you what he thinks. He is incredibly supportive, which for you, you said yourself in your field, you are often pessimistic and don't remember how great you are. And Makoto would remind you of that every day. But one thing that Makoto would need to be in a relationship with you successfully is his own drive. Seeing Makoto take on like a personal initiative or a personal drive sometime in the future would give him that extra dimension that we think he would need and yeah. um we think that he absolutely has the potential for that and although he may seem like kind of just an like a normie and he doesn't have a lot personally going for him we think that he has a lot of room for growth and a lot of potential and if he were with someone like you who would be really good at encouraging him to like explore his own interests and his own like personality that he would like kind of, you know, he would kind of develop that side and just become like a, a much more like dynamic and interesting person if he were in a relationship with somebody like you. Yeah. Also, one of the things that Maddie and I really considered was your love languages, um, which are um, touch and acts of service. And Makoto would nail acts of service he would do that constantly. And another thing is a lot of the other people who made your top five would not be interested in touch. Kyoko, Chihiro, they don't, I mean, they really probably, that would not be their thing. And with Sakura and Hina, I mean, they're already in love. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, give me your reacts. I think that I truly and honestly would never go for somebody like him based on attraction because um there has to be a level of like attraction and i don't think he's missing something from his personality that would make me be attracted to him you know what i mean like my current partner for context is somebody who physically would not have been somebody that i would usually go for but their personality is very like there there's like more to him than i don't know i'm trying to think but yeah, like I think, yes, in theory, it would work on paper, but I think it would miss that, like, that spark, that, like, first thing that I'd be like, ooh, that is attractive about this person. That's true, because but that's why we have this dating thing, is because it's supposed to be someone that we I know that you uh, wouldn't for yourself. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's move on, because we're kind of running, running out of time here. Well, All right. real quick, we got to tell you your date. Um, oh my god, my date! We decided it would be a simple date um, just because we um, need to learn a little bit more about Makoto. But we found out his favorite food is curry. So <laughs> you guys are going out for curry and then you're yeah. watching an Emma Thompson movie. Oh, thank God. Emma Thompson, my queen. My queen. <laughs> All right, Marin. I'm ready. Are you even ready? So give, me, give me who you are attracted to. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I love Biakia. Um, yeah. He's been my fave since the beginning. Um, yeah, I know you guys aren't going to pick him for me. Um, I don't think we'd pick him for any of us. I guess we know we wouldn't pick him for two of us. Um, who I think you guys would pick for me would... I'm kind of between two. Um, <laughs> um, I am between Chihiro and Mondo, actually, which is kind of funny. Um, but I think of the three of us, the aggressive male would probably go to me <laughs> anyways so that is my that is my guess guesses plural i don't know if i get those but All yeah right, Marin. okay hey. so we said that somebody who you would want to be with so i think they would need to be confident even if it was a quiet confidence um they need to be able to communicate but there is something about your personality Marin, where you like to like work for it a little bit, but, th but then eventually they would communicate with you. you but you like, to, you would like to unpack the mystery a little bit. You know what I mean? I love um, being a good enigma. <laughs> it's true. Um, and you, we also said that you are somebody who is very much like, you can be a rock for somebody. So it, it would be okay if someone like was a little bit like, bah, because you'd be like, bro, it's okay, man. Like chill, bro, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Um, 
Yeah. Um, what Catch else? me ending up with Junko. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, funny, like someone you could laugh with. Um, someone who doesn't mind like ha- going out, having a good time, you know, being social. Um, not too uptight. Um, and someone who is who is like at least smart enough to not be dumb. Like, <laughs> yeah, love it. All right, so um, Maddie, do you want to go ahead and just uh, just take the reins there? Okay. Sure. So um, this is, once again, not a surprise. But yes, indeed, we did rule out Mukuro because we don't know enough about her. And even though she is probably pretty attractive from a couple pictures of her that we've seen, and I actually, at least that I've seen, like in her garb, she's actually kind of cool. But, um, but yeah, we just, we just don't know. We wouldn't pair you with someone who we know little to nothing about. So um, the 14th and 14th place is... Toko, because Toko is a hot mess. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I was a and little curious when you said I could handle emotions. I was like, are they gonna? <laughs> see, the thing is, I think you could, but she's so uptight, she would never go out with you. She would and never go out with me. She's not confident at yeah. all. And like, you could not do that. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Next up, we eliminated Hifumi. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Lord. I mean, like, He's just kind of self-explanatory, but he's he's a fool. He <laughs> is a fool. And, um, yeah, we just don't think you'd like him at all. <laughs> um, next is Taka, because, again, I think he's very uptight, wouldn't get turnt with you. Like, he would not. He would not. And I think, like, considering, I'm going to tread lightly, like, considering, like, the environment that you were raised in, I think that you need someone a little different from that yeah. he is who i got in a in a character like who are you poll yeah so I'd be <laughs> personality quizzes you'd be dating the those. worst version of yourself <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh wait <laughs> just saying <laughs> oh! but imagine toko and makoto dating for a second sorry off topic wow i, I don't know oh. if i can imagine Nessie. That. okay maddie sorry <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> um next up we eliminated Sayaka. We don't think he'd really like her. We don't think that she has enough um like depth or integrity to her and we we just think that you wouldn't be satisfied with someone like her. Hmm. Number yeah. 10 is Chihiro. Wow. I know. Okay. And I'm it's funny. Yeah. yeah. I think that he isn't outgoing enough and I think he's not adventurous enough. I think you need somebody who would be more willing to like go out and do things, even if they're quiet. Like it'd be okay if they were quiet. It's just like, yeah. Too quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one of my guesses. I'm glad oh I guessed God. twice. Our reasoning for the next person just makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, next up, we eliminated Hero. And, um, <laughs> and these are, I'm going to quote from this notepad right now. These are Caroline's words. Because he, quote, has one brain cell bouncing around, unquote. <laughs> <laughs> he has one brain cell that bounces around back and forth in his head, like the Windows screensaver. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't disagree. <laughs> it's true. All right, number eight, because I have respect for my friend, is Makoto. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sorry, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay i just think that he is too easy you need someone who you can work for a little more than him and Agreed. i think he would just be like marry me and you'd be like i already know everything about you this is not interesting <laughs> <laughs> all right maddie next up we eliminated leon because <gasps> we just okay. we kind of don't think you'd have chemistry like he similar to caroline's like he doesn't have a lot of personal drive and we think that that might get old for you and we just yeah we weren't feeling it <laughs> next this is a very interesting one because we're at we're at number six now so this is getting into the top five and so we were having kind of a tough time like figuring out like who wouldn't make it we ended up picking mondo because wow. okay. we think that you guys would be bffs yes but i don't think you would date like i think marin for a second while drunk would be like mm, maybe <laughs> but you would actually be like wake up the next day and be like that is like dating my best friend like my bro who i 
have beers with like that's not you yeah, know which I mean? is so funny because he and taka are friends i okay. know that's wow. oh wow that's so cute wow, next level crazy all right maddie here we go top five baby <laughs> It's funny because um, Caroline and I disagreed on Mondo a little bit. I was saying that I actually could see you with Mondo. Um, but then we talked about it a little more and I did, I did see the, the possibility of it being kind of like a bro, like friendship dynamic. And then it might just be unfulfilling or just kind of weird. But all right, we're in the top five now. And, um, <laughs> we ourselves were surprised at what How we far? ended up with a little bit. Number five. Um, <laughs> was Junko, and we were like, "How did she make it into the top five? Like, did, how did this happen?" But we were like geeking because um, she's like evil. But we just think it would be like so funny. Like, it would be fun. Like, you would just engage in like witty banter, and you'd like bounce off each other, and it would just be like its whole thing. Like, I we just that. thought that that would be so funny. Like, <laughs> I. I cannot believe she made it this far. I kind of forgot about her. I was like, yeah, she's yeah. gone. No, she's not gone. She made it this That's far. That's really funny. I'm proud. Look at that. Number five. Like, thank God. <laughs> Ultimate despair. <laughs> so number four is Sakura. Because I think the two of you are too similar in yeah. a way. Like, um, and I think that you, like, this person wouldn't really challenge you. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Also, Maddie, after you share the next one, I just have to comment on the next one also. Okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right. You're number three. Oh, wait. Right? We're, that's number, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. No, yeah, we're no, off. we're off. We're off because, um, because the, the number one isn't listed as one. They're just at the top. So that was, um, so Mondo, I believe, was six. actually technically Mondo number seven. seven. Okay. Whoops. Okay. So Mondo five, seven. Six. Go six. Sakura on is top five. Okay. Sakura is five. Okay. We're in the top five. Okay. Yeah. So mm-hmm. number four um is Hina we okay think, we think that you like would like someone that you can kind of unpack like someone with kind of complexity and stuff that Hina doesn't really have like she's super sweet and she's very straightforward but she's almost like you know what you see is kind of what you get with her um and we also think that she is a little can be a little bit immature and that would be a kind of a turnoff for you so I want to comment on this it's very interesting that all of us had Hina in our top five and she was eliminated in the like third or fourth spot because of basically the same reason. That's true, actually. But also, I want to say too, I think like playing the game is giving me more of a perspective on her character that I didn't have from watching the anime. So I will say, I think there is some more depth to her than we are giving her credit for in this episode for some reason. No, I yeah, with that. we love her. I, oh, I, I love, love Hina. Hina. I love her. Hina reminds also, me of Marin's friend so much and i love marin's friend and want to marry marin's friend (laughs) kind of an icon um also sakura makes all of our top fives yeah yeah i think hina and sakura both are just iconic and they're just like such good people that it's like yeah yeah, hard to ignore anyway all right top are we at top three number three yep is it me okay your top three is iconic group i'm excited so your third eliminated is kyoko because I think that she is confident and I think that like you guys would have a lot to talk about and I think you'd be able to pull a lot out of her. The only thing I think she would just kind of be over like partying. She'd be like, "Mm, I don't want to go out. Like she's like, no, you know, but I think other than that, like you guys would be a good couple. Did Byakuya make the top two? I, yeah, (laughs) I will lose my mind if you picked him for me. Like this will be the best day of my life. I don't even know who the other person is. Marin, or I mean Maddie, go. Just well, we're it. about to say it now because we're at top two now, right? Yeah. yeah. Are we about your top two are Byakuya and Celeste? Oh my goodness, Celeste! What? What? <laughs> and we are about right. to announce. Caroline, let mm, drum roll, drum please. Roll. One, two, two three. three. Celeste. Celeste. <laughs> hey, unexpected. Give me, give me the reasons. Yeah. Well, I'll or, just say. Do you want so, me to explain why we didn't pick Byakuya? Yeah, that would be good, actually. Yeah. Okay, so Byakuya, you're number two. Um, oh, we wow. love him, and we think you'd have some serious chemistry. Um, we think you could totally stand up to him as like, um, like, cause you assert yourself, no problem. You say what's on your mind. You have no problem calling people out on their BS and being like, "Hey, you're wrong." Um, and so we think you could totally handle him, and that would be an interesting dynamic. Out of the three of us. 
the one who would be most likely to be able to date Yakuya is you. This is, yeah, that's the case. Um, <laughs> so but hard. we also think that you would end up butting heads a lot. You would probably argue a lot. And um, it would, you would win passionate. some arguments. It would What's be like that? passionate. Yeah. But it, there would not be, like, it would be so messy. It would yeah. be a lot. Like, we think you'd win some arguments, he'd win some arguments, but it would get to be tiring. Like, it would just maybe turn into an unhealthy dynamic. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just glad you made it to two. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I know. <laughs> oh, I so, so Celeste, baby. I know. Yeah. And I was a little surprised, too. But we kind of thought, like, okay, she's very poised and collective. So she's somebody you could bring home to your family and they would love her. But That's she true. also has a wild side and can get her groove on and party. <laughs> Um, we think that she has a lot of secrets, but she opens up with the right people. And you are very much that person. I think like could be that person for her. Um, she, I feel like the teasing banter with Biakia would be there with her, but it wouldn't blow up into like a big like fight. Cause it would be like more like, like sarcastic almost. Um, she is yeah. an enigma. I, is. I would always have to unpack. I like exactly. that. But she would communicate, like, she wouldn't, like, not communicate important relationship things, I don't think, but you would have to unlock levels <laughs> of less, <laughs> um, so to speak. Wow. The date huh. we picked for the both of you. And it's funny, earlier you said you have a good poker face. So, <laughs> oh my when goodness. you said that earlier, I was literally like, lol. <laughs> um, so the date we picked for you would be a jazz club with low-key music and drinks and flirty mm-hmm. talking. But after, you would go gambling. And Celeste would teach you all the tricks, and you would actually be really good at it. And you guys would you be really would. <laughs> This Wow. This sounds like a great date. That's yeah. awesome. I was going to – I was I, gonna, I, I kept telling Caroline, I was like, Celeste would teach Marin how to gamble. And the two of them would be unstoppable because Marin would catch on so fast, and she would be so good at it. I have like, won <laughs> poker tournaments in the past. That's a fun See, time. there you go. And you'd like, oh, oh yeah, it would be a – great time wow. you'd become rich together look at us go i think caroline is the least happy with her pick i'm so unpleased i'm sorry i'm gonna be honest with you yeah oh. do you see your reasoning i do but i really don't like him i'm sorry yeah. he's probably my least favorite protagonist really yes, wow 100 <laughs> percent. Hmm. i don't know yeah maddie Anywho. and matt truly honestly i think the best out of the three of us i think maddie found like a true I really day. agree. Aww. Like, I think you guys, like, if she were a real person, I think you guys would really. Like... I mean, I am Hina. So. <laughs> <laughs> we just up. that. Hina, literally, when we were picking, we were like, Maddie has some very Hina traits that I yeah. think I do. Like, would vibe with um, yeah. Sakura very much. Yeah, and like. Caroline. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, I. It's funny because I look so much like Hina in some ways, especially when I got my, my ponytail. Um, but, like, personality-wise, I think we're very, very different in a lot of ways. But we also have some commonalities. I also love donuts. I also love working out. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think, Caroline, too, for you, I mean, you had Sakura and Hina on, on your thing. You are kind of a combination of those characters. Um, yeah. So much so that you couldn't date either one. That like, makes sense. You had too much Hina to date Hina, and you have too much Sakura to date Sakura. And <laughs> yeah. that's a very interesting thing. Yeah. All right. Okay. It is time for the moment we've all been waiting for, Bed Wed the Head. And we thought it would be fun to do it with the three characters that the three of us ended up with. So we have Celeste, Sakura, and what, Makoto? I forgot his Makoto. name. <laughs> 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 I has forgotten her date's name. Well, I don't like That's my date. That's not a good start. I actually reject my date. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Maddie, why don't you go first? <laughs> Ooh, my turn first. Okay. Um, this one is not very hard for me, actually. I would say um, Bed Celeste. She is very mysterious and very attractive. Um, Wed Sakura. I love her so much. Um, and Behead Makoto. I'm sorry, Makoto. I do love you, but out of those three... I, yeah. <laughs> um, I think, I'm trying to think. Okay, I would definitely wed Celeste. I really liked your guys' defense um, for why I should be with her. Yeah. 
Like that was really interesting. And I think that could be cool. I'm kind of torn between Mikoto and Sakura because quite frankly, I'm not attracted to Sakura and like, but I love her, you know, I don't know. I guess I would bed Makoto and and uh, behead Sakura, but I love her, and that would make me really sad. So, yeah, I would be sad to kill Makoto too. But you know, sometimes yeah, you, gotta, you gotta choose. <laughs> <laughs> and between Sakura and Makoto, no, I'm just kidding. I haven't explained my things yet. Mm-hmm. So I think that I would, okay, I would marry Celeste. I love her so much, and we would live in Las Vegas and live crazy lives together. Um, wow. Again, also, she, I feel like, would, like, not really care that I'm flirty at all. I think she would also do the same thing. And so I think it would be, like, an interesting dynamic, but also, like, it would be fun. Um, I, I just love her also. I know that that realistically wouldn't work out, but I just love her so much. Okay, you guys are going to hate me, but I think I would bed Makoto. Wow. <laughs> um, I think I would bed Makoto just because, like, I, kind of for the same reason Marin said, like, I, I, Sakura, I love her so much. I love her so much. And if it weren't Celeste, I probably would marry her. But Celeste is my woman. Like, I love her. Mm, <laughs> my heart. So, yeah. That's that's it. Guys, good job. Awesome. This is so fun. Good. Thanks for joining us. Hey, guys. Make sure you check out our Facebook page and like Ultra Hope Girls podcast on Facebook. And we have a private Facebook group where we can continue the conversation. And you can tell us who you would bed wed in the head and who you <laughs> think we should end up with. Anyway, have a good day, everybody, and we hope you listen in next week. Bye! Bye! Bye.